We had Christmas trees going up there and that at the same time. I remember, yeah, the flocking the Christmas trees well, and we stuff. Did. We started that here in the garage. Yeah. With a homemade All right. flocking machine. Yeah, we started that in the garage with a, with a homemade 50 gallon metal drum. And we used to buy uh, flock trees all the time and they got really yeah, high. Sharp. And so uh, there was another thing. Let's try it. Let's see if we do it or something. So Lonnie had the gift gab, so he went up and made friends with the guy that we used to buy the trees from. And he said, hey, I got a little flocking machine. If you want to, you know, if you want to try it, yeah, I'll, I'll sell a tree for 20 bucks. Well, it's okay. So he had a couple of bags of flocking. So we used to get the trees down there in Manitou, Talbots. They had a tree farm, and they were huge. And we would come down there and get them with a little pickup truck. And they, were, they weren't bagged or nothing. They were big trees, and you could only get four or five of them in there at a time. But you could only flock four or five of them in there, and you had to sell them quick to flock more. And we did that out there for, well, we, we moved here in 76, and we bought the store, I think it was 78. So we did it here for two years. And then when we got the store, we built the shed, we started doing it there on a bigger scale. Don't I remember something about rabbits, too? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was not profitable. <laughs> no, the we rabbit. had rabbits in that garage. Yeah, I remember. We had rabbits for years. <laughs> yeah, and, it's, and he cleaned them every day, but they stink. I mean, when yeah, you got that yeah. many rabbits. And we've raised rabbits before. So. Yeah, when you got that many in a confined area, they stink. I, I can't believe we had great neighbors. I can't believe that they didn't come. And when we finally got rid of them, uh, so how many years did you do rabbits? Oh, we only did that a couple years. He would start it off, he was showing them and raising them, and people would buy them for meat and stuff, and on a small scale. It was my dad that kept breeding them, and we'd get more and more and more, and it got to be where we couldn't sell them quick enough. Because they got to be butchered, you know, good at a young age, and we right. just couldn't keep, you know. We didn't have enough people buying them to keep them, and he just kept breeding them. And Lonnie said, don't breed no more of them damn rabbits. So it just got out of hand. When we got rid of them, the neighbors said, I am so mad. You got <laughs> I thought, I bet you were. So, so what else did Lonnie get? So we got rabbits and fireworks and wine. And was there I any think, other? No, I think that's, that's it, I think. But that's how we started off with those things, simple. It started off just to see if we could do it, just fun. And then when it got on, it, it wasn't fun anymore as it got grew. It was, it was work. And then it quit being fun, you know. So uh, the story we had, when they blocked the trees in the garage, Lonnie would make them wire. So they were almost a perfect tree. Mm -hmm. He'd make them wire up branches so they weren't laying, and they would. Be, and when they'd end up flocking them, they would be perfect. And he, of course, he had everybody working them. The dad, and everybody had taken the time. And anybody that needed a job at that time would do that. And Tom was working on one, and they say he says it was a trick. But Lonnie, no Lonnie, and them swear by it. He wired his hands underneath the tree. He wired his hands up there like he was working and fell asleep. Was that Johnny? <laughs> yes. And they thought he was working. Who did, who did this? My son. <laughs> was, you know, in high school. And, he, and he, wired his hand, he wired his hands up into the trees so they would think he was working in a tree and he was sound asleep under the tree. Have you met my son? Steven? Yeah. That's a new spoiler maker. This is his bride. They're getting married in uh, September. Bree. Yeah. Yeah. Over here. I think uh, I think we saw you guys last time. They're not eating. They will when they get hungry. So so what else? Uh, what other things you want to tell us about Pixie and Lion? Um. I would say I was a very lucky woman.
You know when you find the right one. Yeah. Took me three tries. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. you but I knew huh? when I met Don. Right there? Yeah. Okay. We had 31 years together. Yeah. Oh, 48. Okay. What'd you say? <laughs> what you wipe your booty? Is that what you said? I don't know. Maybe your buggy? Oh my god. Anyway, yeah, he, he was a good man. He was So did he dabble did he dabble in the racing thing too? Oh yeah, he, he did that. He uh Was that before or after you guys were together? Or? I think he did a lot he did race like Demolition things down there, but he went. He loved races. And he he was loved. A, he he was in a race. Him and Butch. Yeah, both that. had cars. I've got an article where Butch came in third, I think. But I think there was two races. So I'm not sure. And then Lonnie, I can't remember what Lonnie, what place he come in, but they both raced that night. And I don't know if they were in the same race or if there was another race. I think that's later. But I think when they were he was younger, he did too. He raced. I, I didn't know. I think that. I remember. I don't remember him seeing a that. seeing My something that showed it was like a little newspaper clipping or something yeah. that showed uh, two Hutchinsons in a yeah. race and placing. And, and it said that, it didn't say Larry. It said Butch. <laughs> yeah, but he. Uh, he did that, and then but then he he got his transplant, and his doctor said, "Mommy, you can't you can't take the chance of doing that anymore." So he had to quit doing it. And I said, "It's not a good idea that you try to wreck, or you know." Mm -hmm. and that's when take the chance of getting it wrecked. They so. all started coming up to chances are to all the racers after yeah after the, uh, the races. A lot of them did. All right. That didn't last long, thank God. That's a very expensive hobby. <laughs> very much. Wow. Yeah. Dad used to, though. Huh? I said my dad did. Yeah. He raced. 175 was the in fact, I had, number. I had a picture someplace of Dad's car. It was an old coupe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know, but Celeste used to race. Yeah, Mom did too in the Powder Puff Derby. Yeah. They called her uh, Barney O'Field. <laughs> so, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious how that worked, because I mean, you know, to hear my dad talk, they were always dirt poor. How'd they get into racing? I don't know, but they were out at Mount Holly Airport because I used to, we used to go once in a while, get to go with them, because they had to pay to let us in. So once in a while, if we were good, we'd get to go with them. And, uh, or Dad had a car. I don't know if it was. No, Hank Jones drove, but Don, Dad had the car. And Mom running the powder puff dirt. I think. That's how it was. I, Dad didn't race, though. Mm -hmm. I think back then the, the, the cars were, you know, when Lonnie started doing it, that, that shit got expensive. Mm -hmm. The parts, you know, the. What do you call them? The Holly carburetors? Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. Those high were, performance parts. Yeah. Now this was and regular they didn't cars. Have that. You know, yeah. like I said, it was an old coupe. I couldn't tell you if it was a Ford or what, but it well, was an old black coupe. Yeah, I think my dad tells stories about taking the headlights and taillights out of cars for a race and then putting them back in so they can get back to work or yeah. get home or whatever. Yeah, I mean that that was, I I don't think the expense was that right. bad then. That no. like it was later. You know, that parts and that. They're buying old cars and redo them and try to make them into a race car gets very expensive. Right. So I was glad he got out of that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know old Hank Jones used to drive my dad's. Yeah. Yep. I don't know why dad never drove, but I know mom drove it in the powder puff dirty. She, she went? We got to go. I think she come in second. Margaret's drove in before. Has she? Mm -hmm. She did. A couple uh, times. Crash up derby cars, right? I don't, I can't remember now, but she was doing something down there. A couple times she did it. Yeah. 
I actually got to drive in one race. Butch let me drive in the mechanics oh, yeah. race or something uh, when I came back. Well, yeah. Time. yeah. Did you like it? I loved it uh, until I spun out. <laughs> Afterwards, I said, who pushed me around? They're like, no, nah, you, just, you just spun out. <laughs> I was so disappointed. They, I thought somebody directed me. <laughs> they, uh, Lonnie loves speed. I mean, the faster the better. And always talks about how he knew Kirk Road like the back of his hand because they used to race on all time. Of course, it's different now than it was when they were kids. Right. Yeah, they and, dip ain't there no yeah, more. And he, they as fast as they could go. And probably didn't want to get really, really killed over there because he talks about how they used to, how fast they used to drive there. And he loves speed. I mean, scared the shit out of me a few times. Well, the two Collier boys went off on Cricket Road and got killed. Yeah. At one time, they driving fast. Well, that was right up his alley to try it and do it. And Laura and wasn't driving fast, but she went into the creek one time. I remember that. Yeah. There was a big article in the paper about that. She, she had a blowout. Oh. Went right into the creek. Mm -hmm. Upside down. Are you eating that cheese? And luckily, it threw her in the back. She knew she was in the back seat, so she was looking for the front to get. She forgot the handle, and she got the window down about this far, and some guy grabbed her hands, and mm -hmm. she came out through that window. Wow. Mm -hmm. There was three of them that jumped in the creek to save her. Wow. And I was at work, and she came wow. over and told me. She just come over and just start crying and hugged me, and I said, "What's the matter? What happened?" And she told me, "I almost died. I was in the creek." <laughs> God. And she was living with me up on Western at the time, and she said all she could keep thinking about was her baby, Jerry. She had to get home for her baby because she didn't want Jerry raising him, and he ended up raising him. So that's my story, I guess. Okay.